Okay, this is the inside of the box. The AC comes in right here and goes into both sides of this circuit breaker, kind of like you, your wiring house. Um, this is the ground that was on it. Didn't hook that up, probably should, but anyway, it goes into there and then it goes down onto the two bus bars. So we've got the um, 120 here, 120 leg here, 120 leg here, that's 240 volts. And the 120 volt, each 120 volt leg has a bridge rectifier that it goes through. And I've, I've had so many questions on how to hook these up, I thought I'd go over that right now. Um, I've got a, this what this is, is a 70 amp rectifier and they're really easy to hook up. I don't know how far in I can go on this or if you could see it but this leg right here has a plus next to it. That is your positive DC leg right there. Right here there is an AC marking right there that is your AC leg, input leg, or your uh, hot leg, right there. Sorry about that, I had to plug in this camcorder. It's getting pretty old. I would like to get an HD camcorder one of these days. Okay, so, okay, so we got our positive DC right here, and our AC this is going to be our positive DC output. Then our AC input goes right here, the hot leg. The neutral for the AC, basically you hook these up crisscross to each other. So you got your uh, 120 volt hot right there. Your neutral goes here. That's going to be the, uh, I don't know, most of the time it's the white wire. It'll be a black or red wire here. And then you've got your positive output DC and your negative output DC and it's that simple to hook one of these up. I would suggest uh, if you're using this to use a fan inside your box or put a nice heat sink on top of this to uh, keep it uh, cool. They are rated at 70 amps but you know what really what have you bought really that actually is rated will do what it's rated. Okay, so what I've got here is I got my neutral leg here and I split it, basically split it in two, because I've only got one neutral coming in. So I split it in two and put it one leg on both rectifiers. And 120 volt here coming out of the um, breaker, 120 volt here coming out of this side of the breaker. And on the other side here I've got a positive and a positive DC and a negative and a negative DC running over to this bus right here. This is uh, kind of homemade. So what I'd have is I have both positives running into this lug right here which makes this all positive right here. Then I've got both negatives excuse me that's backwards both positives into this lug, both negatives into this lug. So these two little bus bars here, I've got a one put the positive here and the negative here. And what I've done is I hooked up to them is the, the positive output going to the cell and the negative output going to the cell and they come out right here. What else is hooked up to this is where the capacitors hooked up. I've got the positive leg of the capacitors and the negative leg of the capacitors. And basically, positive leg, it's all this side right here. That's all positive. And all this, and all this side right here. So these two are connected. So all this is positive, and it comes out and into the uh, no! to the bus bar. Same with the negative side. Connect here. Connects to all the negatives of the capacitors. 
all the way across to all eight. And you know what? I actually got these capacitors as a package deal. And if you were building one of these, I really, I think all you really would need was four. So this is kind of overkill. Okay, so now I've got my, all my hoses hooked up. I'm going to set up my power here and get my bubbler hooked in and my flashback arrestor. Okay, so we've got everything set up and ready to go. I've got a battery here and a charger if I need it. The only thing the battery is for is for powering the 12 volt pump. And I put the power power unit on the floor there. They will this cell will be powered by this generator. It's a gas generator, 8,000 watts. Um, got the 240 volt AC plug right there. And uh, I'm not sure how many amps that is. It says it's a uh, 30 amp. We'll see. Uh, if I can get this thing up to 15 amps, I think that would be, uh, be doing really well. Okay, so this uh, concludes this video. In the next video, we'll have this up and running, and we'll see what we can do with it. Thanks for watching.